Northern Stars Turf Festival. What a night of racing it's going to be. One of the big stakes races every year is the $75,000 Curtis Sampson Oaks on the turf for the girls. It goes as race four. It also starts the new wagering opportunity at Canterbury this year, the $1 all-turf pick three with a 14% takeout, and there's going to be a hot favorite in here. Number four, Flashy Gem, trained by Brad Cox, ridden by Florent Giroux. Drops out of a grade two race the weekend of the Kentucky Derby. A must use in that all turf pick three. But I'm going to try to get around this horse with the outside horse. Lure him in. Jareth Loveberry, one of our own, a former champion rider here at Canterbury. Boy, did he give two fills a brilliant ride in the Kentucky Derby. He's an aggressive rider, and he's got a turf sprinter that's stretching out here. And I like her chances. Her daddy is Tappet. She's a Lothenbach homebred. And she has that stalking speed out of those turf sprints where she's going to be right there pressing the pace. And even though this outside post is no bargain, she looks like a horse with her natural foot that can put herself in a good position at this quirky turf course. And we've got a regular rider here at Canterbury over the years that knows how this turf course plays. She's got big time upside. She last raced at Churchill Downs on May the 20th in a turf sprint. She had all kinds of trouble in that race and came charging on late for third. She's crying out for more distance, and I think she's going to be a horse in a good position for victory at an upset price. I'm going to try to lure him in to beat the big favorite from Brad Cox. I'm going to use both the four, Flashy Gem, and the nine, my top pick, lure him in. It's the Curtis Sampson Oaks. It's race four. It's going to be a humdinger.